everyone namaste and welcome back to my channel my name is supriya if you are new to my channel then please consider subscribing and hit that notification bell so that you are always notified whenever i upload a video also do consider following me on my instagram account because i post a lot of content there as well i am super excited today to do this video because i am going to share my honest feedback and review about a very renowned brand called dermaco the products have been doing a round on the internet a lot of beauty gurus lot of influencers are talking about their product i'm going to let you know my honest and most non biased feedback about four products of dermaco and let you guys know what worked for me what didn't i am going to go in the order from the most likable product to the least likable product now without doing any further delay guys let's start the video so the first product for today is a product that's going to stay with me for the rest of my life said and done until unless the company shuts down so drum rolls for this product and i'm going to talk about 10% niacinamide face serum for acne marks this product is a wonderful product uh, to be very honest this is my first experience with niacinamide i somehow uh, ignored the complete segment um, i have heard a lot of people talking about niacinamide but probably i was too lazy to try it out but finally i placed my order i got this product in my hand and you're going to listen what i'm going to talk about this product so before i actually start talking let me first read out what the company claims so the brand says damaco 10% niacinamide serum is the ultimate solution for reducing acne mark and controlling sebum production say goodbye to your skin concern and go filter free in your next selfie with 10% niacinamide serum i mean who are they to tell us whether we are going to go filter free or not i mean that's completely our decision we want to go filter free we will go filter free if we want to use filters we will use filters they cannot tell us what consumers say 9 out of 10 consumer experience improvement in acne mark and open pores after using niacinamide of course you are going to say that how to use it use twice a day after cleansing your face with the dermaco face wash apply 3 to 5 drops of the serum on the entire face and neck massage gently until serum gets absorbed now this is what the brand tells you to do i did not do it like that i did it my way which of course i will be sharing with you guys in a bit but to be very honest as i said this was my first time i was trying niacinamide and honestly i was shit scared because there is already lot happening on my skin but finally i kept aside my apprehensions and i finally ordered and that is the reason i first ordered their mini bottle this retails for 249 and you get 10 ml of product and i instantly fell in love with this product from the very first application and then i went ahead and ordered the bigger bottle which retails for 600 599 rupees and you get 30 ml of product both of them are 10% niacinamide i just wanted to, because niacinamide is also an active i just Uh, wanted to try it and see how it reacts on my skin because oh my god uh, trying out so many skincare products my skin has actually become a chemical lab and the it's not in a good shape right now i never had acne spots now i am <laughs> talking about products which treats your acne spots thanks to my youtube journey anyways no complaints so uh, yes i fell in love with this product instantly from the very first application and i am going to tell you how to use it when to use it and what to do what not to do so if you do it my way uh, i i hope it works out for you because uh, there are lot of negative uh, feedback about this product in the market uh, you will get so many uh, youtube videos i really wonder what went wrong with them did they do it the right way or the wrong way i mean it really worked out for me so definitely i must have done something correct so just hear me out and do um, if you feel like do as i recommend you to do So there are basically two things that I took care of. Uh, now the brand says that it is absolutely okay and safe to use this product twice a day during your day time and your night skin care. But I did not do it. I did not introduce this product in my day skin care routine because I like my day skin care to be very simple and quick. Because I have thousand things to do when my day starts. Now that the school have opened, I have to rush my. sun to school i have my morning chores if it's a work day for me i have to rush to work so i want my morning skin care routine to be simple and super quick so i did not include this product in my day skin care routine in fact i included it in my night skin care routine because uh, niacinamide uh, guys is an active and i was too scared to use it in the daytime because the reactions are horrible if at all your skin reacts um, which 
in lot of uh, people case it has actually reacted and they have given uh, this product a negative review uh, maybe they were using it in a daytime and uh, this one being an active during the daytime because of the sun rays it might have reacted on the skin so i i was not willing to take that risk i included this in my night skin care routine and uh, the results have been very pleasant and the second precaution that i took was uh, experts say that it is absolutely okay to mix uh, niacinamide and your retinols but i did not do it i took the safe path i'm shit scared of mixing uh, actives together uh, so the day i used to use this serum i completely avoided my retinols and vice versa probably these two precautions that i took this product worked wonders on my skin this serum is hydrating in nature does not dry your skin leaves your skin super duper soft and supple next morning it definitely works on acne spot a regular use of this product will leave your skin clear and spotless i highly recommend this product to everyone and this is suitable for all skin types now moving on to the second product again this was also my first time ever experience this is the chemical peel that i'm going to talk about guys i was very very scared i have never used a strong chemical peel this is the 30% aha 2% bha face peeling solution this has 10% glycolic acid 10% lactic acid 10% mandelic acid and 2% salicylic acid this is a very strong chemical peel i was very scared i was very apprehensive but then finally one day i decided i cannot leave a segment i am a skincare enthusiast i have to try it and give you guys my review so i ordered this product and i started using it pleasantly my experience was not that bad because mainly i took few precautions again i'm going to share with you guys so the brand says that use this product twice a week what i did is i used it twice a month guys my skin does not need very deep exfoliation because i use my 3% pha toner on a everyday basis without fail and i also use my 10% lactic acid serum which does a fantastic job so my skin as it is does not need very deep exfoliation that i'm going to use such a strong chemical on my face twice a week so instead i decided let me use it twice a month i started slow I I took baby steps i took the safe path i started using it twice a month and then went up to using it once a week and my skin was absolutely okay with it now the second precaution that i took was they say keep it on your skin for 10 minutes what i did i kept it for only 7 minutes maximum 6 to 7 minutes because it gives you a tingling sensation it was very weird the first time i used it but then i got used to it but i do not uh, go beyond 7 minutes uh, I think 7 minutes is a very good time for your chemical peel to deeply exfoliate your skin. Once your skin get used to it, then you can go ahead for 10 minutes, but initially the first time application, I would recommend take it off after 5 minutes. Now the third point to keep in note is you have to use your sunscreen the day you are using this chemical peel during the night guys this is only meant for your nighttime application please do not use your chemical peel in the daytime you're going to seriously dangerously uh, spoil your skin don't do that don't do that mistake it is only meant for night skin care and the day you are using it the next morning you have to like lather your skin with uh, spf 50 sunscreen If you are not very serious about your sunscreen game guys I'm saying it in a very strict tone do not even dare to uh, try this product I mean it's okay deep exfoliation itna bhi zaruri nahi hai because if you don't apply sunscreen the next day oh my god let me share my real time experience with you guys I will be inserting the pictures here this was my experience when I was using my 10% lactic acid and this was not my initial days of using lactic acid i have been using this uh, lactic acid serum for almost a year now i know all the rules i know uh, how it works what precautions i have to take but what happened that day is i used it the previous night jabki lactic acid 10% is a very very mild version this one is a very strong one so i used it the previous night and i did lather my skin with lot of sunscreen because it is a very regular practice for me and i was not about to step out of my house that day but somehow it was a very bright sunny day it was a very bright sunny day and i happened to go out it did not strike my mind and it was very important sure i had to do it so i had to leave my house the moment i came back 
I was out about actually I was under the direct sunlight I was not in the car or not in anyone's house I was not under any roof I was completely exposed to the sunlight and after two to three hours when I came back home my skin was in a very dangerous uh, situation these pictures are not doing justice to what my skin was actually looking like it was pathetic because of this incident i still have acne marks on my skin it was this glorious day that gave me acne spots this could treat can i'm using this niacinamide serum just imagine i mean i had a spotless clean face but few things if goes wrong your skin can really really break out very badly and can give you irreversible damages so please don't take your skin care uh, if you are using active then don't take it lightly you have to follow all the precautions in fact i will suggest if you are applying this on a particular night please ensure or schedule your plan that you are not stepping out of the house next day and apply spf 50 and sit in the house so that is the safest option and this product also will fantastically work on your uh, skin it took care of all my blackhead my whitehead it makes your skin very smooth uh, takes uh, away all the dead cells from the surface of your skin and gives way to the bright and young looking skin so i highly recommend this product as well but please remember the points that i mentioned do not ignore or avoid them now moving on to the third product which is the 5% niacinamide face cream for acne marks uh, this is spf 20 it is a average uh, product only because actually uh, it will work very nicely and uh, it's a very fantastic product for oily skin type i'm not oily skin type this product is slightly drying in nature and uh, me uh, being quite exposed to active 5% uh, potency niacinamide is actually very less for me this is a fantastic product if you are a teenager if you have lot of hormonal acne if you are breaking out a lot if you have oily skin if you have combination skin and during the summertime i'm sure this uh, cream will do wonders on your skin if you're a beginner if you're a teenager then definitely go for this cream it did not work out for me because my skin type is uh, very dry and uh, winters are still not gone yet i'm sure this will work really nicely on my skin as well once um, you know the summer really sets in because it is slightly drying in nature it's not very hydrating to be honest so you can definitely go for this product but then for dry skin type during winters I don't think so it's going to do any good to your skin now moving on to my least likable product I don't know why they have this product in their library this is three percent vitamin E face moisturizer please note this it is for dry and flaky skin guys please don't claim things that the product completely does the opposite again this is a very good moisturizer it could be a very good moisturizer i don't know i'm not an oily skin type for oily skin type during a uh, summer time uh, because it doesn't give intense hydration it takes away all the oil from your skin it exactly does the opposite what it claims so please at least when you are writing you know things on the packaging or on you're formulating a product saying that it treats or it is exclusively for dry and fakey skin lo what you are saying this is meant for the oily to combination skin type people they will actually like this moisturizer it is very very matte finish and i tried it uh, during winters oh my god i'm going to insert pictures what it did to my skin dry skin type and of course i will be giving this product a try once the summer sets in when my uh, skin becomes combination so probably this could work for me but then uh, it is not meant for dry skin type please don't deceive customers the very first application it made my skin so dry that i took one week to recover from that dryness and this happened to me during peak winter season are yaar i'm already struggling with my dry skin type now products are making that claim to be intense hydrating and giving uh, all the hydration to a dry skin type making my skin even more drier i mean i was so annoyed with this product not meant for dry skin type combination skin type and oily skin type definitely can give this product a try now guys this was my honest feedback and review about four products of dermaco if you like this video then please give a thumbs up subscribe to my channel hit the notification bell and i'm going to see you guys super soon in my next video till then take care be safe bye bye